Hi there, it's CJ, and this is my collection book, also known as uh, In Mass, the type of uh, journal that Shannon Green has shown everyone. And you can see, mine has really grown. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go through this and show you different things. Now, one thing. I'm only going to show you this side. The other side is also filled with different things. And I wasn't smart enough when I got ready to do this to put like A here and then B down here. I put B on the back. So just know that my letters are all done. But I'm just going to show you part of the alphabet. So here's my A. This is my B. Oops, I'm sorry, that was supposed to be C. B's on the back. Here's E. And G. Here's I. K. There's M. O. And this one I'm most proud of. Q. Q and J were the two most difficult for me to get, but I did it. And some of these Q's are so little, but I got them. S, U, W, Y. And then we're going to go on from there. Now, I've got a few blank pages like this that I can add things to. We just call that a free page. And then I've got areas like this that I've got envelopes in that uh, it's where I save different things. Okay, animals. And I like the things that were just a little off the wall a bit. Like we have this big old turtle here, this tortoise. Okay. There's my arrows. And art. And a few more that I can add. These are beads. These are rolled up pieces of paper that I just sewed on. Birds. Still adding to that page. Book pages. And I've got a bunch there. Bugs. <laughs> how would you like to meet up with a flea that big? Or how about a house fly? Whew, really big. Here's business cards. And on the back, I've got some more business cards. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to turn the book around just for this one page because I want to show you this. This is Oriental business cards. This would be the way we see it in English. And this is the way, same card that they would have in this direction with their language. Okay. Butterflies. I just happened to have a sheet of butterflies that was scrapbook paper and colored them in. Buttons on button paper. Uh, candy food wrappers. My husband's favorite are the M&M's. The Luna Bar. I have that for breakfast occasionally. This trail mix. The Oriental that's real spicy. That is totally addictive. The Boost. I need extra protein, so I'll have that at least once a day. Here's my page of cars, and this car right here says, Visionary idea. The first car had no windshield wipers. Drivers smeared the glass with potato starch or apple juice to help the rainwater run off. There's cats. And my colors are not done. I'm still working on colors. So greens and oranges. One thing I found in the colors 
luggage. Oh my goodness, it comes in every color you can imagine. So if you're missing a purple, check out luggage. Coupons. And I had the most fun with the bottles. These are decadent bottles that I went ahead and used, like the perfume bottles. Oh, I just love that page. And a free page. Here's my dogs. And scraps of fabric. I'm still working on that. I have to get into a separate bin to work on that page, and so I'll put that off. These are faces, and I've got more in a tub to, to add to that. Fairy tales. I use Snow Queen for a lot of things on the internet. And Snow Queen was a story by Hans Christian Andersen, which is it's a real cute little story. But anyway, famous faces. I'm sure you'll recognize a few of those. Favorite quotes. I like the different little art quotes. You know, be yourself. An original is always worth more than a copy. The world is but a canvas to our imagination. And feathers. These are feathers that I've collected in my yard. And I have a place to put them. Finger paint. I thought it would be really neat to just do some hand prints and then noodle inside of them. I like the way that turned out. Flowers. Food. <laughs> it's funny with food. I kind of went breakfast, lunch, and dinner. One of my favorite breakfasts. One of my favorite lunch. One of my favorite dinners. <laughs> and then on the back I've got the same type of thing. Foreign languages. I think I've got uh, Japanese, Chinese, German, uh, Spanish, um, and there's a couple others. I've also got some on the back. Free page glasses. I don't know why, but I just like to collect that. And um, glitter and sparkles. I'm still working on that one. Hardware washers. These are rubber washers like you would use like out, outside on your hose and that type of thing. And this page was actually the first page I started working on. I was working on this at the time. And I was just messing around with some old washers and I put it on this and I thought, ah, that just turned out great. I'm so glad I did that. And it goes right in there. Houses. I've got a lot to add to this. Uh, this just happens to be a set of stamps that I dearly love. And then on the back in here, I'm going to add some more house pictures. Jewelry. We all have a favorite style, favorite things that we like. I'm kind of partial to the gold with the dark enamel look to it. And stickers. These are doilies and lace. And I've got more on the back. Leaves. Okay, I painted a bunch of these leaves. I taped this one on here and I don't think this is going to work out because it's falling apart even though it's been coated many times to preserve it. Just handling it, they break apart. Lists, I love to do like A through Z lists, like names. Okay, this would be boys' names, A through Z. And artists' names, A through Z. Movies. Um, let's see here. Song lyrics, Hallelujah. This is one of my all-time favorite. Notes. I get a lot of these little notes from people send me things. Numbers. Polka dots. Still working on that one. Paper dolls. This is one that we did as a swap. 
um, deconstructed art journaling group, and then these are swaps that I was in at another time with some people. This one's kind of interesting because it has, you know, like the, oh, I don't know, that's kind of like a mulberry paper, and this is some type of a trim and lace, that type of thing. Okay, paper scraps. This is from a book that had uh, old photos of different actors, actresses. My postage stamps. My die punch, uh, die cutouts. I really should have done that on white paper. I may redo that page. And this is an actual quilt, quilted piece that was given to me. Uh, there's the name of the person. It came from South Africa, and I dearly, dearly love it. You can see how small these pieces are just by my finger there. I collect a lot of these recipes from the magazines and newspaper, and I've got a bunch more to add to this. Uh, my sewing page is kind of bare. Shapes. I've got both sides covered with different kinds of shapes. Shells. I found a magazine that showed how to make Christmas ornaments with shells. Shoes. I really prefer collecting tennis shoes. I'm not the type that wants heels. This is music. And store receipts. I actually started on another page. This is like my second one, second page for this. Stripes. This is made from uh, napkins. Tags. This is things that, you know, that come off of like bananas, uh, spaghetti squash. And these are from a restaurant that has a tab that goes around your silverware. And little tags from my tea bags. This is a textural rubbing that's the bottom of shoes. Uh, my husband <coughs> cleaning out his closet and had his shoes all lined up by the bed, so I just started rubbing away. And that's a page I'll do. Tickets. This is like our Mega Millions that one day I plan to be a millionaire winner. Uh, different movies we've gone to. The other day we just saw Zootopia, which I dearly, dearly loved. Okay, time. I love watches. Watch bases. I've got lots and lots of those. This is vintage. This just happens to be some paper that showed old Valentine's. And washi tape. Lots of good washi tape. Most of this is just from packages I've received and I put on there. Windows. Now I know a lot of you are doing the windows that are like the security envelope. Well, you know what? I didn't catch on to that right away and I started putting these kind of windows in there. Uh, so I guess that's a big duh on me. <laughs> okay. Words. Paper weaving. This is my yarn and fibers. Ooh, I'm getting out of hand here. Playing cards, purses, hats. Not that I would ever wear one. Now here is my store receipt. I don't know why I started back here, but I did. Oh well, you can tell this is an old one simply because we no longer have a Tuesday morning. Okay, and then this back part right here, uh, this sits right by my chair, and when I'm watching TV or something, a lot of times I'll doodle, like up on, on the phone or something, and I just doodle away, and no real great artwork there, just, you know, letting your mind wander, have fun with it. And I can still add lots and lots to these. Okay, so this 
is the progress I've made in my collection journal or my in mass journal. You can see just how thick that has gotten. It has been a lot of fun. I may have to put a different type of cover on here or add something to this because I've had to re-glue and re-glue and re-glue so many times. But I don't know. I really, I really like this. It's been a lot of fun. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Got to see how far I've gotten with this. Give you some ideas. And I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye now.